get in a circle and we'd call it the family circle and we'd throw in our goals. Definitely everyone put in, dad gets a new heart every time for years. Mm -hmm. In fact, we just had one the other day and my son started to put that in and then he looked at dad and I don't know what to put in now. <laughs> to see the cardiologist and they ran all the tests and they and they said you need to put yourself in bed and wait until we can get this figured out but you're pretty much you can you need a heart transplant sometime in the next few years and I was like I gotta go to work tomorrow how can I possibly do that and he's like you don't understand your life is never the life you came in with today is never gonna be the same you know none of that matters what matters is keeping you alive long enough to get you a heart transplant we've done 400 implants in the last 36 months which is over a third of all the implants ever done in 30 years have been done in the last three years. Randy was a re-operation. He had two previous operations for his rheumatic heart disease. His was a challenge in terms of trying to fit it in. It's pure machine. To adapt it to man requires the whole team being spot on with knowing the sequence, knowing the procedure. We have a chest cavity mock-up that was done on a 3D printer that we use for seeing if the artificial heart will fit in the chest prior to putting it in. 3D printing gives you a much better idea and confidence as a surgeon to go in there and say, you know what, we can do this, it'll be fine. After a few months, he was doing things that he wasn't able to do, you know, years, years ago. That artificial heart kept me going for 15 months to the point where I was able to get the transplant. And now that I have the transplant, I'm planning on another 30 plus years. It does everything. It pumps plenty of blood and it drops the filling pressure so you don't have engorgement of the organs. The Freedom Driver is 13 and a half pounds. That's a big step forward and that allows the patient to go home. My name is Christopher Larson. My story is that um, I can, had congestive heart failure. With Chris, first time I met him, he didn't want to have it. Uh, he said, I'd rather die. I'm Navajo, we have different taboos about uh, you know, foreign objects in your body. And I said, okay, um, do you mind if I talk to you a little bit later? And by immersing himself in the environment that we were here, he started talking to other patients. And he wanted to live. My wife came back to me and said I was, I was looking up at her and, and I pointed at her and I said, for you, I'll do this for you. And she looked at me and she goes, it's good, it's good. I pushed this little box, I'll push it to see how much it can actually do and it does more than you think it can do. We've now taken care of over 1,350 patients and we look forward to thousands more who need this device as a life-saving opportunity to extend their life.